Now, you know I'm not a fan of table runners, but now table toppers. I've not, I like this. Look at that, I love the colours. This would look lovely in my dining room. Lovely in my dining room, on my big dining table. That would look lovely. Beautiful, gorgeous colours. So I've got four bundles to show you, but I'll show you the book that it comes from first. Uh, Emma Bradford's here to show us how to make that. Um, now, here's the book. Here's the book. It's called Table Toppers. Annie's Quilting. Now, you know how popular the Annie's Quilting books are. Terrific Table Toppers, it's called. That's ours. Now, isn't it funny? Because when you look at it there, it looks like it's a rectangle, doesn't it? It just looks so... I wonder if she's made it wrong. Maybe she's made it wrong. Maybe. I've not worked with her for a while. Maybe she's gone a bit off piece since I last worked with her. But look at all the different... Look, on the back there, all the different versions there. That one looks like a whole tablecloth, doesn't it? Let's have a quick look. Oh, you see? You, oh, now. Strips galore table topper. You see, that looks nice, doesn't it? That would look nice on uh, Little Paul's new dining table in the colourway that he's got. Dramatic, yeah. Because he's... Oh, that's nice, you see. Fireside, that one's called. That's like the pineapple block, isn't it, that one? I've got... Oh, sorry, it's upside down to you, isn't it? Prairie points there. Paper piecing. Uh, Dresden. Oh, you see, that look, you see, that would look nice with a vase or a big candle. Not a bowl of strawberries on the side. Yeah. Be oh, look. Beautiful blue batiks in that one. And you got all your templates and everything. Here's this one. Spring fling. Spring fling is this one that we're doing now. Uh, then we've got Just Bloom Fresh. Oh, there's the baskets of flowers in that one. <gasps> oh, oh, that's nice. Now that's a big one. See, that's like a whole tablecloth, that one. Do you think you put them over the top of a tablecloth? Apple a day, don't like that one. Uh, falling leaves. I think some of these you put, can put over a tablecloth. They're lovely as a centre, wouldn't they? And then Northwoods. You get loads. Hang on, how many is that? Nine. OK, they're a pound a pattern. Think of it that way. A pound a pattern. Oh, no. Right, OK, let's get on. Look after that one for me, Godfrey. Next hour, coming up next. Are loads of you talking about him already. Right, okay, so this one here, this one here. To make that, now you will have some fabric left over. I'll just clear the threads. It's called tambourine because it's from the um, tambourine range of um, Arna Maria Horner. So, what you get in this bundle. Uh, okay, you get one and a half metres of your sapphire there, which is your binding... I wonder where else you use it then. Did you get a metre and a half? The, uh, Emma sent different backing, but you can obviously use it as the backing. Yeah, I think the metre and a half is for the backing as well. So how much of the tambourine do you get? You see, you get a metre of that, and that's only... I think you could make a few of these. Do you know what? I'm thinking... You could make, because you get a metre of that fabric there, I'm thinking you can make a few of these, because if you tessellate those, you could cut those out, couldn't you? Definitely. So then you also get your fat quarters here to make the triangles. These are all linear. Beautiful. Sulphur. Berry. Azalea. Just to name a couple. I don't know if that's Riviera, that one there. Aren't they loud? These are my favourite. These are my favourite. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fat quarters. You get a thread in like a dark turquoise. You get a metre and a half of your sapphire and uh, a metre of your Arna Maria Horner fabric. That's nice, that bundle. See, now, uh, what I love is if you don't want to make the table topper, but you love that bundle, that's quite a substantial bundle, isn't it? 47 pounds and 99 pence. There's the finish. I think you can make a few of these with that, all of that fabric. Uh, we'll ask Emma when we go over. So that's the one that she's already made. The one that she's demonstrating is this one here. Now, these fabrics won't look as... I've only got a sample here of these fabrics, but it is the same thing. So you'll get a metre and a half of your um, chambray and one metre of your daisy chain. Right? Plus the blue um, indigo folk, blue folk, this is called, plus your thread. £62.49. pence. Lovely, isn't it? So that's one we're going to be demonstrating in. That's one we're going to be demonstrating in. Uh, sorry? No, no, we'll go with you. Right? I love this one. Uh, look at this. This reminds me of my Nan, this Paisley fabric. 
It's called Paisley. I wonder why. So now, so you get a metre and a half of, of the peach. You get a metre of the Paisley. Now, I think, you see, I think that feels... I've not seen this before. This feels slightly thicker. This is a... Oh, that's nice. Um, you haven't had this one, have you? This feels slightly thicker. Feels like a cotton twill, this, or a cotton drill. Not seen it before myself, look. Oh, isn't it lovely? So that would be a central section. You see what I mean about a metre? Look how many of those... You could get at least two of those diamonds out of there, couldn't you? Easily. Um, and then the fat quarter bundle with this. I will beat you. Look, arrowheads. Clover. Uh, what's that one called? There? Oh, asparagus. Pendant in asparagus. Bloom. And then the little V and square dots there. Aren't they lovely? At uh, 48.99. 48 pounds and that bundle. I'm just trying to fold this piece of paisley fabric back up. After all, somebody put on Facebook yesterday that I was a bit slapdash because I hadn't folded the fabric away properly. I oh know. Oh I'll tell I'm doing this one perfectly. Yeah. Right, okay, 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 okay. That's that bundle there. And then the last one is folk. In, now, this green fabric, this green fabric, I think it's called Misty Blue. I think if, if, I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. So this lovely green fabric here is called Misty Blue, metre and a half. There's Misty Blue. Plus, you've got your daisy chain, your red daisy chain. This time you've got folk in green. Now, this one's quite limited. I need to tell you this one's quite limited. Plus your thread. £62.49. pence. Right, OK. Oh, yes, now you need the ruler. You need the ruler. Well, right, now, it, it doesn't say in the book that you have to buy this ruler, but it makes your life an awful lot simpler. So you're going to see Emma demonstrate this ruler. It's a 60-degree, 8-inch finished triangle ruler, £20.99. pence. Obviously, you can use it for other things as well, look. But I will, I know what you're saying. You're most probably saying, well, why don't you just use the 60 degree angle on my normal ruler? That's exactly what I said, but we'll talk to Emma about that now and we go over. Okay, got everything? Got everything. I'm going to come and say hello. I'm just going to put that on the table there. I'm going to put that there. Don't mind if Godfrey joins us, do you? No, no. Hello. Hello. I haven't seen you for ages. Hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Right now you've opened your own quilting establishment since yes. I uh, last saw you then. Yeah. Yeah, brand new. Brand new, how's it going? It's really good. Really good. good. Yeah. So you're doing classes, are you doing classes? or how, how Yes, we're doing workshops uh, through the week and at the weekend, because okay. we're open Saturday and Sunday. And it's in, it's in? Tallington, near Stamford. Tallington, near Stamford. And what's it called? Uh, Swift Quilting. Swift Quilting. Quilting. There you go. Yeah. So if you want lessons from Emma or yeah. from, you'll have a team of ladies, will you? Or... It's me and Josie at the moment, so my okay. business part of Josie. So, yeah. so you're working hard. Yes. So you're here, <laughs> you're doing your flowers at Waitrose, and yeah. you're doing your own, your own quilting business. Quilting, huh? yeah. And long arms, so that's four. Oh, and your long arms. Oh, my yeah. word. <laughs> uh, she has got long arms, didn't she? Right, <laughs> okay. So where do we start with this? With this. Um, the first thing to do is cut your middle bit out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Isn't that funny? I thought you'd have... Oh, anyway, I don't know why yeah, I you, thought that was you funny. Do, you do the strips as well, but... And have you cut it wrong, then? Is it meant to be a, a diamond? It is supposed to be a diamond. Because that... You Honestly. see both pictures there. Look at that picture there. Yeah, it doesn't look... Yeah, no, I know. Oh, yes, Chris. I know. Chris going, this which I'm trying over the page, it looks like a diamond on the... Look, look, yeah, oh, it yeah, looks it like does a diamond. Show you. But that does not look like it a doesn't. diamond. And that does not look... Oh, it's no. the same photo. It doesn't look like diamond. a diamond, does it? No. So when you came in this is. morning and I was like, oh, I've looked up the wrong one because I looked at this yesterday thinking oh, that's a, a rectangle and mm -hmm. just taking a picture. So is, are there ways and means of cutting out the big diamond in the middle? Yes, so the way that the book tells you right. is to cut a template, fold a piece of paper, yes. cut a template out of paper right. and then cut out your square. Okay, but it's not a square though. Yeah, diamond, yes. sorry. <laughs> but you know me. Yes. I don't like faff. Right. So I just folded up my fabric the same way. The way, way they told you to do the paper? Yeah. Oh, I just okay. cut it like that. Yeah. Is but is it, is it awkward then? Is it an unusual way of doing it? Not really. Not really. So you just cut it, uh, fold it into quarters. So you need it to be 13, let me have a quick look. Eight inches one way and 13 and three quarters on the other way. So I've given me plenty of yes, leeway. Yes, yes, yes. So this is the long side. It needs to be at least 13 and three quarters. Right. And then this way you measure eight 
inches at least, so I've done nine to yeah. ten to be okay. safe. So I folded it up. So I folded it in half to get my side. So you fold it basically into a, a quarter. Right. Make sure square. And then you literally, you measure 13 and 3 quarters this way. Yeah. 8 inches this way. Yeah. And then cut a line across. Oh! Yeah. And that includes your seam allowance then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that, that's the centre of your diamond there yes. then? So it's 8, did you say? 8 that way. Mm -hmm. And 13 and a half that way. Yep. And just cut it? Mm hmm Straight line? Yep. Oh, okay. Which, we'll see. See if it'll fit on here. Yeah. Will it fit on there? We'll see. We may need a little big one. Yeah. So let me get my... So 13 and three quarters. Oh, you can get in there. Oh, yeah, yeah I think it'll but work. Will it be eight? You won't get eight across this way. I think, I think, right. So 13 and three quarters is to there, so I'm just going to put a pin. Right. <clears throat> what I did on my original one. Oh, yes, I see what you're going to do. Then yeah. measure eight across here. Yeah. Get the right, right way. way. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Yeah. So I'm going to position my... What I did on my original one was instead of using pins, I just marked it with a pen. Oh yes, of course, yeah. Yeah, that really you're using there is four by 18 and a half, it looks like. Mm -hmm. What you've got to do is make sure you're doing your, your folds in the right place. If you don't, you'll end up with two pieces of fabric. That's but true. Then, but then look, that, so this is all you use that fabric yeah. for. And then you've got all that extra. And you've got all of this left over. So you mm -hmm. can get at least, at least, oh, you can get more, yeah. You can get another two out of there, yeah. I would say. Or if you wanted to do placemats to go with it. Yeah, exactly. Or coasters. Okay. So get that gets folded set. up because that's new. Yeah. So then Perfect. that's your diamond. Look. Right. So that's that bit. Next bit are the triangles around the edge. Yeah, which look like they're going to be the uh, complicated bits. Yeah, but they're not too bad. Oh, so okay. okay. You start off with strips. Right, so you've just taken all of your... These are all fat quarters. Fat these quarters, now, yeah. yes. So to make it easy, I've just done, stacked a couple together. Right. So you can cut more than... And what do you need to do? Fold it in half. Yeah. And then you literally just need to cut strips across the width. So you need eight strips altogether. Of, of how many different fabrics? Of all of them. Oh. Across all of them. So of all the fat quarters? Yes. Okay. And then you mix and match them together. Oh, so hang on, hang on though. Oh yes, yeah, so there are, are only eight in those as well, are there? Because there's eight in that one, there's eight in that one. There are only eight in yours as well. I think so. That's, hmm, I didn't count. Don't worry, don't worry, okay. don't worry. I'll go check. Yeah, yeah. I, want, I thought I had one, one's got nine in. Oh. One, two. Well, three, you will have some four, strips left over. Six, seven. Yeah, in the folk ones, you get nine. In the linear one, you get eight, don't you? And then in the bijou one, you get eight as well. So you, you, in the, the, if you buy one of the folk ones, you're going to have a fat quarter left over. Oh, okay. A fat quarter left over, yeah. And so what it tells you to cut is two each of one and a quarter inch strips by 20 inches. Oh, so they're all different sizes, the strips you're going to be cutting? Yes. I've got to do it on the right side, otherwise I'm going yeah. to get confused. So one and a quarter inch. And you will have strips left over, so even though you cut all these strips out, there are some that you don't use. Yeah. So, from each fat quarter, you cut two, inch, two strips at one and a quarter inch. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm confused now. Okay. So you cut two at one and a quarter, mm -hmm. and that's that's called B. Yes. And now I'm confused now. Hang on. Cut one and a quarter times twenty. That's the width of your fabric. Mm -hmm. Then one, one and a half, or two of each of those. Oh no! So two one and a quarters, two one and a half, two one and three quarters, and two at two at two at twenty inch. Sorry, I'll start that again. Two at two width, two at one and three quarters, two at one and a half, and two at one and a quarter. Yes. Got it. Sorry. 
And then what's this other one? The coordinating tonal cut three. Oh, that's that's your for binding. your binding. That's your binding. So on this, this one, I use the turquoise. Yeah. So on this bundle, it would be the lilac-y. Yes. You know the proper name for yeah. it. Uh, um, the uh, chambray. Chambray. Yeah. Yes. So I've got my one and a half, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters. And then I'm going to do my twos. Right. Oh, someone's asked about the best record. Emma's doing this is 11. Yeah. Nice one. So you end up with strips from all of your. So that's left. Is that left over now? Yes. So you'll have that left over from all of your. Oh, okay. Fat quarters. So there's me saying you're going to make two. But you'll see, you might still be able to make at least two because, you, like I said, there'll be strips left over. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and the strips left over as well as yeah. fabric. Okay, fine. So I have cut all of my other ones. Right. So you get a bundle. Okay, now have you cut all nine? Yes. So you need to get rid of one of a lot of them. But yes, but you can mix and match. Oh, so. yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Yes, that's the next bit. Oops, and the next one. Right. And then the next one. Okay. And then what you do <clears throat> is you have to sew four strips together of different One of each widths. size? Yes. Does it matter which order you sew them together in? No. And they have to be random. Oh, they are random? Yeah, so you, you do them randomly. So I could do... But as long as you get four different ones yeah, different of thing. four different sizes. Yes. So like, so as long as you get in each triangle, one, two inch, one, one and three quarter, one, one and a half, one, one and a quarter, it doesn't matter which ones they are. No. I'm actually going Why to... What's your chicken over there? I'm just, because I've got one already done. So oh, okay. I want you to want do one. Yeah. No, I want to do it um, completely different. Yeah. So then that will give you your... Um, variety when you cut them all up. So if you're a little bit, well, so in some ways I can be a little bit particular. So you're not doing it random, you're being completely, you're picking. Yes, I am picking, because I can't do it random. I can't just, I have to do a variety, otherwise it will drive me nuts. Because I don't like them too many together that look the same. Yeah. There we go. Oh, a bit of a crisis now, choosing the fourth one. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So what I did when I did them all, because then you'll have, it tells you how many sets that you need of those. Do, 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 do. Ten, ten sets of four strips. Right. Is what you need. So what I did was I, I decided what all of my strip combinations are going to be. Before you sewed them? Yes. And then I just yeah, because if, if you do them random, you might get to number eight, and the fabric you've got left over, you don't like. Yes. Two. Yeah. Exactly. Or you might have copied it somewhere else. So yeah. yeah. And for this one, oh, foot pedal. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's really important to get a scant quarter of an inch on this one. Oh, why? Because when you cut them out with your ruler. I'll show you. It yeah, has yeah, to be yeah, a yeah. certain width. So when you say a scant quarter inch for the new people who are watching, what's oh, a yes. scant quarter inch? Okay, I'll show you. I'm sure they had a different thread, but that's okay. We will. And on this machine, in order to move, to make sure I've got a scant, you can actually nudge the needle positions one way or the other. Okay. So yeah. I've nudged it towards the right, okay. a little bit closer to my quarter of an inch. Got a message from Betty. Hello, John. I love sewing quarter. Treating myself today as it's my birthday. Oh, Ooh, Betty. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my love. Waiting for 10 o'clock. I must have Godfrey as I love sloth. Betty and Ken. Now, do you say sloth or sloth? I say sloth. You see, sloth, sloth is the deadly sin. Oh. Sloth is the animal. Animal. Okay. Now I know. Sarah's 
she says, good morning. Emma's, oh, Emma's workshops are amazing. Oh, yes. And her shop is fantastic. Yes. Sarah's Full of lovely gems. You're selling gems now then? Oh, oh. Sorry, there's more, there's more, there's more. Sorry, go on, kids. Oh, she's doing your Hawaiian quilt at the moment. Oh, yes, that's what we workshop we did. Um, Sarah's a lady who said how amazing you smell when she met you oh. at Festival of Quilts. <laughs> It's nice people remember how you smell, isn't it? <laughs> she said how lovely the smell was and how nasty it was, thank you. Just both concentrate on the straight line. Yeah. All right. So you sew them up. It does look a bit strange because at some point when you sew them together, your second strip and your top strip will look the same width. Oh, okay. But that's because this one doesn't have this quarter inch taken yeah, in uh, yet. Yeah. So you press these out and actually in the book, the book, Instructions are a little bit like, you know, on the Bake Off, on the challenges where they give you the recipe. Oh, yeah, and don't tell you how to make it. Yeah, a little, there's a little bit of interpretation. Okay, so what does the book say? Let's it says press. Says. Oh, it just says press? Yes. Right. So on my original one, I actually pressed them to one side, to the dark right. side. But actually, after having done the Bargello, I am actually sold on the pressing open. Okay. Because it makes your strips lay really flat. Because sometimes when you're sewing strips together, if you press the seam oh, out okay. to one side, your strips can curve a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So did you use a roller or did you just iron them? I just ironed them. Okay. Yeah. So I would press them open. Oh, and before I press the other one, I'll show you the quarter. Oh, I mean, the scan quarter inch. Next, you just kind of passed it over my way. I think, oh, yeah. she's expecting me to iron. No. Do what, what? Uh, before I do the next one, I'll oh, show you is, this. Oh, is it hot enough? Because yesterday we had a bit of an accident yesterday. And it's not it's... bad. Okay. It's, yeah, it's not the hottest, but... No, I'll turn it up. Yeah. And it is important to sew your in order of width. So you go narrow, less narrow, no, to the widest one. Right. <clears throat> so that will be my top part. For a scant quarter of an inch, it's a little bit hard to see because I put a, a, a coordinating colour rather than a contrasting colour. So I'm going to put my pin right along my seam there so we can kind of see it a little bit better. So it's right there. So on a scant quarter of an inch, <coughs> sorry, when you measure your quarter of an inch seam allowance, yeah. your sewing line should sit within that quarter of an inch. Right. So if I show it this way. So rather than doing a full on quarter of an inch, your one... Yes. Thread almost this side, this side of the yeah. Inch, yeah. So you don't want to, when you put your ruler down, you don't want to be able to see your seam, your sewing line, but yes. it should be just underneath the ruler. Right. So that's a scant quarter of an inch. If it was a full quarter of an inch, then you would have a quarter of an inch and then you would see your sewing line on that side right of the ruler. Right along there. Where you draw the line, where the law, if you were to draw a line, it'd be, yes. because you draw the line this side of the ruler. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay, perfect. <coughs> but you need to do that because it won't fit later or something. It will be <coughs> a bit narrow. Okay. And you'll, it'll, you'll have the points, you won't get quite your quarter of an inch on the oh, points okay. where they should be. Oh, okay, I see what be. you mean. Yes, 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 yes. Could you use one of those, that Charlotte always uses a, a roller. roller. You almost used a roller for it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's started steaming. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. It's because it's gotten close to you, John. <laughs> well, the iron <laughs> steam's getting close to me. <clears throat> Pamela, loving the shows today. Um, oh, had sloth hanging from tree outside my room in Costa Rica. Oh. Locals say sloth the same way as John and David Attenborough. Well, oh, I'm... well then. Thank you, Pamela. 
I think it, I think the message we had earlier was right. Sloth is the animal. Sloth is the deadly sin. sin. Do you say scone or scone? Scone. Oh no, you've fallen out of the Because I say scone and I say sloth. Everyone here says scone and sloth, you see. Yeah. So I, I say scone. Yeah, but you speak funny anyway. Yeah, I there, do. So, yeah, that's it? true. <laughs> that's <coughs> fair enough. Yes. You must have lived in a country with sloths. Where did they live then? Obviously, wherever Panda's just been, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. No, I've never been anywhere that quite, lived anywhere quite that warm. Okay. The warmest I've lived is probably Texas. Texas. Depends. I, I, I've lived in South Africa, Ooh. but I've also lived in uh, Thailand. And I hate Thailand because it's hot and humid, oh. where South Africa was hot but Just, breezy yes. and mountainous and things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I uh, lived in a place called Bad Class to start with, near Nelspreet, halfway between, um, and then. And that was it, really. I just lived there in a, in a game, on a game reserve for seven oh, months. Oh, lovely. I oh, know, it was fantastic. With Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas. <laughs> oh, well, roughing it. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I was roughing it. They had blooming houses, especially. But Val Kilmer had a special, like, treetop thing oh, wow. made uh, for him to live in while we were filming. Wow. And uh, so he was actually out there with the wild animals. The wild animals oh. couldn't get to him because his house was yeah, yeah, on, yeah. on stilts and everything. Um, but he had this amazing bathroom built, so you could lie in the bath outside right. and see the whole oh. of the game reserve. Wow. And there were muslin cloths in case it was yeah, mosquito-y. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello, John. I love the demonstration. I love your shirt. <coughs> this is one of my oldest it is. shirts, uh, Julie. Musical instruments, if this one is. Yeah, so you look like the piano man. Eh? You're the piano man I am today. I with the piano, but this is, what's that there? A uh, trom... trom the double no. bass. That's a, some sort of tubery thing. Yeah. That's a saxophone. Bone. That's it, I think. I've got to go back and do some more soon because everyone's seeing all my shirts. Right, okay, so we've sewn our full strips together. Yes. Does it matter which way up you have it at this point? Because you've no. got narrow at the bottom and... Because you're going to do both ways. Okay. Which is why I've got the... Yeah. So oh, I, okay. I can't be too So angry. this is why... Now, can we explain why we need the 60 degree angle ruler? <laughs> yes. And why you can't do it with the 60 degree line on your <clears throat> normal ruler? Um, it's... Well, you could, it, but you need to... You have to at least have one done with this first okay so it needs to be five inches tall right so i tried it on my i did it on my ruler to begin with thinking oh i'll just use my 60 degree yeah. ruler but your pieces your triangles end up too small okay and so when i put it together the first time thank god oh actually you could make two because i actually did a whole first set of <laughs> triangles oh, wrong. okay okay there you go so you can make two yeah. actually, you can you can make two <coughs> um and when I got to sewing my strips onto my diamond, I had a good two inches. It was a good uh, two inches short. How weird. Mm -hmm. Because you think it's a six degree ruler and that's a six degree line. Yeah. You think it'd be the same thing. But, but it's a little quarter of an inch at the top. Yeah. And because I hadn't done a, a scant quarter of an inch to begin with as well, my, my bits, that's how I learned. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. have to do a cancel and quarter of an inch. Um, they were also a bit narrow, so they weren't quite coming to five uh, inches okay. tall. Rotating <clears throat> cutting back. Yes, so it makes life so much easier. There. So you need that little gap at the top. Yes. That gives you your actual size. If okay. I was to do the same thing. Who's going across the bottom? So then. If I were to do the same thing on here, which I, what I did, so let me see. Which way do I want it? Ah, upside down. So what I did was I just lined up my 60 degree oh, and, and did triangles. Yes. And it makes it just that much smaller. Oh, hang on, so now, is that one wrong now, the one you've done? Yes. Right, don't so want to mix them up. So you'll be able to see it's not that much wrong. No, no, here. but you've got hundreds yeah, of seams. Look. and the, Yeah, so it's, it's, well, it's a scant quarter of an inch out. Yes. So if you think of all of those <laughs> seams all adding up, that's why you were two inches too short. Yeah. All right, get rid of the, the one that's wrong. That's the wrong one. 
Right, now, does that mean this line is now wrong? No, that one's right, it's still at a 60 degree oh, angle. Okay, okay. But I need the ruler. So which way did I do that one? Okay, we're going to have another one that way. And then I'll do the other way. Yeah, yeah. How weird. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right, so that one's, that one, that one's that correct. One correct. That one's correct. <coughs> so that's the same as that one. That's rubbish. And then you just flip your ruler around so mm -hmm. you'll have bits going. Oh, so you've got the, you've got the uh, wide, wide at bit the at the top of these two, and this one you're going to have the wide bit at the bottom. Yes. I, um, I just think maybe I would do, I wouldn't go in order. I would do, as in, random. I'd have just sewn totally four. Random. Oh, no, you can't because it has to be the right width, doesn't it? Oh, but it'll still be the same. So, yes, yeah, so still put the same four in, yeah. but do different strips because I just think, that, I don't know, I don't know what yeah. we're trying to say. You, ha you could randomise, you don't have yes. to do from one widest. You don't like random, but, but yes, I, you don't have to do them all in order. No. You, as long as they come out five inches at the end, yeah, which you they could will. put the wide one next to the narrow one, then the two minutes, because I just think that would make them more, yeah. I don't know. You could put the wide one in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just looking to see how many we need to cut from there to just say 32. So you need 32 triangles cut out all Of together. all the different, not... Yeah. Yeah. So I've got another strip. So you get four out of, maybe five out of a... So we've got those two, we've got the wrong one. Yeah. And, and then you would get another one there. So you can get five of them out of a strip, basically. Yes. And how many do you need? 32. So you would have, you would eight, cut. Five, so 40. Oh, you've got eight left over if you yeah. do five on each strip, yeah. So but I, then as you say, you could make coasters or anything like mm -hmm. that with the excess ones, couldn't you? <coughs> Deborah. Hello, John, loving the show. Shame you aren't in on Fridays. It's my 60th birthday. Oh, wow. 60, Deborah. Looking forward to seeing uh, Godfrey, Ooh. the sloth. Sloth. Well, no, you know why I did that? Because you've written Jeffrey. And when I did all the voiceovers for it, I kept saying, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. And, and, and Bex said, there's something wrong, you're doing it wrong. It's Godfrey, not Jeffrey. Um, oh, I'm not in on, am I not in on Friday? What day is it today? Monday. Oh, no, 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 because no, I'm here today, then I'm driving up to York, and then I'm in Pavers Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Day off Friday, the cats are at the vets on Friday. And then I'm back in on Saturday. Oh, Deborah, have a lovely day. You do anything special? My uh, birthday's rattling towards mm. me now. So I, right, okay, stop now, because I'm going to do a roundup because it's half okay. past, and then we'll go on to the next. Oh, actually, do you want to cut some more? You yeah. just cut some more of those while I'm doing bundles, yeah. and then, but don't do anything else. Okay, I'll leave that there. I'll take the book. Right, the book. Half the, Annie's, the, Annie's quilting books always, always, always fly out. Uh, there are nine unique and spectacular toppers for any tables in there. There's your book. Eight pounds and 99 pence. Lovely, and all the different projects in there. Okay, I've got four different bundles here. So, we've got tambourine, first of all, which is this one here. <coughs> Excuse me, so you get a metre and a half of your sapphire, half a metre, uh, one, one metre of your Anna Maria, eight fat quarters from the linear collection by Macau, and your thread, 47 pounds and 99 pence. And I'll give you that one. Then the one that Emma is demonstrating was is this one. Now, the, 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 the quantities in my bundle here are wrong. You will get the right one. You'll get a metre and a half of the chambray and a metre of the red daisy chain, plus your blue folk fat quarter, plus your thread. You'll have, you'll have fabric left over, lots of fabric left over. Lots of fabric left over. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I think Chris is right. I think they've put enough of the chambray or the sapphire in as the backing as well. Um, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, paisley next. So this one, you get a metre and a half of peach, a metre of your paisley, then your bijou fat quarter bundles, plus your thread. 14, now, you get eight fat quarters in this one and the Arna Maria one. You get nine in the folk one, just so you know. There it is. And then this one here, <laughs> this green fabric is misty blue. We don't name this, this isn't us, I'm not picking on anyone in the building. But that green, it's definitely, definitely green. 
right, misty blue, plus your da red daisy chain, so that's a metre and a half metre, plus your nine green folk fat quarters, plus your thread, £62.49. pence. Oh, and the ruler, do you want me to do the ruler again while I'm here? The 60 a degree ruler, eight inch finish size. We can do any size up to eight inches because we're doing five inch, aren't we, at the moment? 20 pounds and 99 pence. Okay, let's go back. Very helpful. What is it? It makes it, un well, it's sort of important, really. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Then the next step you do is you take your triangles and you need to sew them into strips. But they're going to be all different lengths. Why? Because... Because they are. Yeah, because okay. it's a funny angle. So All right, carry on. Go. Have you got enough? To enough to do one side at yeah, least. Yeah. And you do definitely need to look at the book because it does tell you exactly how to line it all up. Oh, it okay. Because be, it, it looks odd, but then when you put them together, it all works out. Right. So then this one. Well, I don't say, because if you've sewn them in random order, how do you know which is the one you're putting together? So normally you would have all your 32 to choose from. Yes. So you need, for the first side, and it does tell you section A, B, so you need one, two, three, four, five, six for the first one. But it doesn't matter which six? No. Oh, okay, I thought you were, it was telling you which order to put them in. No, it's, the only order is the orientation. Oh, yes, hang sense. on, yes. So, so hang on, let's just start here. So you've got a fat. No, I should say oh, fat. But, yeah, but you don't have to have that. Okay, so you have to have a triangle going upwards. Yes. A triangle going upwards no, and a triangle yeah. going upwards. Mm -hmm. And then these don't automatically go like that. No, they go twisted They go to one like side. twisted yeah. on the side like that. Mm -hmm. Which is another reason having that, the triangle ruler helps as well. Yes, to exactly. Them all the same. So, then, so then that's the length, which is a bit too long. But then yeah. what have you got on the end there then? Oh, twist, no, the twisted one. Yeah, it actually looks too long, but once you've sewn them all together, it will actually oh, be... Oh, of course it will, yes. It I'm will actually be the job. length. Okay. But what the most Now, would you want that next to that? No. Oh, we haven't but got you, a yeah. Oh, no, but when but you've you, got all of them to choose yes. from. Yes, so what I would do is I would lay them all out first. Yes, yeah, because whatever we do, whichever one we move around, we're yeah. going to have this one next to it. Exactly, because yeah. we've only got a couple of yeah, strips okay. to choose from. All right. So yeah, so that's now, your first one. This is all, all, this is bias, that's bias, that's bias, that's bias. That one's not. No. Oh, that's not. No, that's so not. that's bias. So you've got a bias going to a straight, mm -hmm. two biases. Yep. A bias going to a straight, two biases. Would you best press them or anything like that or not? Um, you could do, yep, to help or it out. Or not. Or not. It, it's personal. No, right okay. or wrong way or wrong way. But and yeah, whichever you like. Do you have to do scant on this bit as well? Um trying to think. Yes, I did, because I set it up as scant and, and I then just continued, did the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, continued it all with scant. Yeah. So then well, it's I better, because if you scant, if it's a bit big, you can trim it, whereas if it's not yeah. scant, it's too small, there's nothing you can do about no. it. The only thing that I con contemplated, but then I decided, no, I, I couldn't really do it, is when it came up too small, I'm like, well, I could just cut down the size of my triangle. But no. It, it would, yeah, exactly. No, that was, a, that was a step too far. Yes. Very much. So what I did for these, to keep them in order, is that I lay my right over my left. Right. And then that, just a pin marks my sewing line. Right, yeah, because it could get confusing. Yeah. Oh, or, or, unless you do one at a time and pass, keep passing it back. Yes. And that like that. So... Oh, no, hang on. The other fabric was the chambray, wasn't mm -hmm. it? I'm just wondering whether I would like the plain blue in the middle and use oh. the red as the border. border. Anyway, anyway, that's That'd fine. That'd be nice. Right? Yeah. Check out my foot. So you've not been on any of your world travels recently then? No, I haven't been anywhere. Just Lincolnshire and Birmingham. Yeah. Nice. Oh wait, no, I did go to Chichester last week. Oh, Chichester's lovely. Yeah. It's for sweet peas. Do what? Sweet peas. Sweet peas? There's a sweet pea grower. Oh, is that? Yeah, the sweet pea grower. Oh! Yeah, so all the sweet peas that you buy in Waitrose. Yeah, other oh, shops are available. Yes. Uh, now, what's the, what is an everlasting sweet pea? Ah, 
Yeah. So, so it's more once a month to go into my friend Dulce's for lunch mm -hmm. over uh, not bank. We've had East. What's been recent? It's been Easter because we have an Easter eggs this pudding, right? Okay. And ooh, yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, I didn't want to buy flowers because she was going back. She's, she works on films. So she's going back to the okay. film the next day, and, and she wanted one. So I bought her some everlasting. Well, I just bought her what I thought were sweet peas in a cage, you know, plants yeah. rather than cut flowers. And she went, "Oh, everlasting sweet peas." I was like, "Oh, are they?" So how can it be everlasting? So it's actually a perennial. So you know, like cl a clematis, where you plant yeah, it, and yeah, it comes yeah, back. Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. So it'll come back next year yeah, and next yeah, year yeah. and next yeah, year. Because yeah. normally you do them, take the pods Seeds. off, and they die. Yeah, don't yeah, they? yeah. Was it a bright pink? No, it was a white one because I didn't like the bright pink. I one. haven't seen a white one before. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. a white, white rose. Hmm. Did it smell? Well, there were no flowers on it yet. Oh, okay. I can only go by the card. Okay. Was, it oh. might be pink when it grows. Okay. Oh, and do you know what else I did? Talking flowers, you keep sewing. Um, I bought, I uh, the garden okay, I was looking, I put three hydrangeas in the garden, right? Ooh. A bright pink one, a bright red one, a blue one. And he went, you do realise it'll all be pink next year, don't you? And I was like, why? <laughs> and because the soil yeah. will change it. Some girls said if I put copper on the blue one, it can stay blue. Yeah, it kind of, the, you get, there's actually a special product that you can use. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, she said blue. that. She said yeah. go to the garden centre and get it. And then someone else had put an old copper penny in the ground. Yeah. But the blue one's already started to turn pink already. It's only been in two weeks. The flower, it's really weird because it's got big heads on like that and you can see the pink almost overtaking the blue. Yeah, it's really dramatic. So the white ones, because I could have bought oh. a white one, what colour would that have gone to? White. So oh, interest... that would stay, that would stay yes. white. Oh, so... thought, oh, let's buy a white one. I thought, no, I like the blue and the pink best. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we'll carry on, sorry. So the interesting thing about white flowers and blue eyes to a certain degree is what makes them white is a lack of colour. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, so they, they will have the gene for a colour, yes. but it'll either be not working or something. Oh, so I yeah. should have got a white one. Yeah, so they'll stay white. And same with blue eyes, so the default is like brown, but it, yeah. but if the brown gene isn't working, they'll be blue. Oh, yes, but then that's like, because the brown gene in eyes is, is stronger than the blue, so you can have, if you've got a brown gene and a blue gene, you're going to have brown eyes, even though you've got the blue gene there. It's only if yeah. you've got two blue genes and two blue genes going together, you can become... Yeah. I know, the biology A level, many, yeah, yeah, many yeah. years ago. Yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll carry yeah, on yeah, some yeah. saying now. Sorry about that. What's that? Oh, what do you need? My, I better have mine. Oh, wait, no, no. What? Okay. What, what have you got? Oh, you're... Jack. Quick. Oh, you got it wrong? No, I'm just... Oh, sorry, yes. I just need to cut the threads. Unpick. There we go. No, the unpicking is for the next one. Okay. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Morning, great demo as always, Emma. John, oh, could you wish my grandson Marcus happy 15th birthday? Ooh. This is crazy, Lorraine. Now, uh, how far are you from Link, uh, um, from Peterborough then? Not far. Because crazy Lorraine yeah. lives in Peterborough. <gasps> she could come see me. So go and see, uh, go and see Emma at her shop. Oh, she's gone on her holiday. So. Now, okay. crazy Lorraine, first of all, happy birthday, Marcus. Yes. She's got so many people in her family have birthdays every single day. She's my friend. Where are you going on your holidays? Was it oh. Frangirola? I can't remember where you're going. She's going tonight. She's flowing oh. tonight. I think Frangirola is, a, you, all, you all know, do you travel the world, isn't it? One of the Canary Islands. Never heard of it. Paul thinks it's Portugal. You're thinking of Faro. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Anyway, anyway. She does what? Every time you go to France, she's everything <laughs> in French. Apparently. Yes. <laughs> I do that because Chris loves it. I've got a, the thing is, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, I've got a guest in, oh, less than two weeks now. Mm. It might be next week after next. What date is it today? Six. In about 10 days' time. Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you. Anyway, he's off the French sewing bee, right? Ooh. And he speaks French. Oh. So I'm going to have to be the translator. Oh, wow. Uh, anyway, Mo said, I have never lasting white sweet pea in my glass <gasps> garden. It flowers later than the pink one. None of them are scented. Yeah, oh. that's what I was going to say. That's the only disappointing thing about them. Oh, that's the only thing worth having on a sweet pea is the scent, really, isn't it? Yeah. But... Wonder why, are they not scented because the everlasting kills the scent gene then? Anyway, we'll carry on. Sorry, yeah. everyone. We'll carry on with some scent. <laughs> yeah, Paul, tell me to shut up. Okay. But he wants me to ask, he's got grey eyes. How can he have grey eyes if he's not got the blue gene or the brown gene? It's so a if, mix, it's yeah. just a blend. If you've got a mix of my, my granddaughter, kayla has got very brown eyes, yeah. but her boyfriend has got blue eyes. And Heibu has slightly brown eyes. They're kind of hazily oh, brown. No. But who's got one of each? Who had one of each? David Bowie yes. had one of each, didn't he? That is a chimera. Yeah. 
That's a what? Chimera. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> well, we can't remember the sewing. We'll yeah. get onto this another day. So you've sewn those together. Now yeah. you're going to sew those yeah. together. Yeah. Oh, it looks weird because it looks like it's going to yes. be on an angle, doesn't That's it? That's why I, I definitely, I swear by the put a pin in yeah. where it needs to go because otherwise. Yes. And this one, you can't yet. pin that one on. You've got to do that one first, then yeah. come back. Yeah. And come back to it. Eight and a half minutes ago, Emma. Oh, OK, even. perfect. Um, one thing I was going to say, actually, I pressed oh, this yes. the wrong way. Let me press this this way. I'll oh, how do you know which way to press it then? Um, it doesn't really say, but there is, if I press it the other way, so I pressed it yeah. um, towards the straight grain. Yeah. But if I press it the other way, I'll show you, because it helps to line them up as well, cause, because it's a funny shape at the top. Right. So if I put that back there and that back there. So when you go together, so you can see my little triangle is oh, now. Oh, yes, 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 got it so there. So when I go to... Get it right. Yeah. No. no, 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 that way. So when I go to line them up, yes. I want to line up that triangle with yeah. that triangle. Perfect. Right, while you say that, Edward's asked if you can see the other projects in the book. Ooh. Of course you can, Edward. Uh, I'll do it very quickly. You've got your strips galore i can't read it and hold it that way though she'll have to no, that's right you'll have to tell me what they say that oh i can say strips galore that's that one um you've then got you got all the templates and everything for all of them look fireside which looks like that's like the pineapple uh block isn't it that but then it says prairie points i didn't see any prairie po oh the prairie points are sticking out the corner there right okay uh then you've got um still the same one i really like the dresden plate that one Dresden, that's the one Emma likes, the Dresden yep. one. See, I'm not keen on a Dresden myself. Then this one, Spring Fling, that's the one we're doing. Then that's lovely, isn't it? Just Bloom Fresh. Uh, then we've got, oh, that's got lots of flowers on it. Apple a date, don't like that one, personally. You might love it, not me. I think I don't like red and white quilts together. I think that's something I've come yeah. to. Anyway, uh, Falling Leaves Topper, that's nice for autumn. Um, Northwood Table Topper. That, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's like, that's like Grandma's, um, the Riley Blake Grandma's. Oh, do you know what? Moira, Ooh. Moira sent a message in the other day and I got an answer for her. Because it was a web chat, we lost the web chat. So I put a thing on Facebook saying, it was Moira, Moira, I've got an answer for you. And I can't find this, she's obviously not on Facebook. If you're the Moira who's got the Riley Blake grandma quilt and you sent in a question the other day, message me in because I've got an answer for you. Do, do an email, do an email, do an email. Uh, well, the thing is she might not do email, that's the problem, actually. she? But anyway, uh, point set to your topper for Christmas. I'm going to switch places. Yeah, yeah, swap places. That's it, that's it, that's all of them. Edward, okay. okay. Carolyn says, oh, don't shut up. It's like being in a sit and sew group. You are both <laughs> brilliant. I'm talking oh, to the TV you. with you, says Carolyn. <laughs> yeah, but you're crazy, Carolyn. Not as crazy as Crazy Lorraine, but <laughs> anyway. Thank you. It is nice, though, to chatter away, yeah. isn't it, while we're saying. Morning, I do enjoy watching Emma. Oh, thank you. Uh, then, question. Ooh. Emma, as a child, hang on. Emma, as a child, I had to turquoise bracelet oh. like yours. Uh, 50 odd years ago, oh, Christine. Oh. Uh, and it was lost. Where did you get yours from? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a, well, I got so, it in America. Yes, yeah. There's actually a bit of a story behind it. Oh, no. Is it, can you tell it on telly? Yeah, yeah, I can tell it. Yeah. So it was at a, one of these charity do's where you do a silent auction. Thing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So we went around and there was this and there was a turquoise uh, bolo tie next to it. And um, we both, we, Sort of, you have to hover, don't you? Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So I hovered and I, I won what I thought was a bracelet, and the other person put, won the bolo tie, both same price. We went to go pay for them, and then they had written the wrong item on the oh. thing. So I had actually won the bolo tie, and I was like, oh. Oh. Oh, well, okay, we'll see. And then a couple of days later, they phoned me up and said, oh, the person who won the bolo tie, I mean, the, the bracelet, bracelet, wanted the bolo the... tie. Oh. So we were quite happy, so we switched them. Yes. So that was really happy. So that's nice, my... Isn't it? Yeah. And you got to... Nana yeah. Kate loves turquoise. So. <coughs> Hello, I'm loving the tabletop. I've ordered the book. P.S. My eyes are blue with a brown ring round the pupil. Oh, Catherine, I bet Ooh, that's exotic. Oh, yeah. You can, my friend's an iridologist, Claire, Colonic oh. Claire, we call her. She's an iridologist and she can read your eyes and go, oh, your kidney, you need to wash your oh. kidney. She's brilliant. She can just look wow. at your kidneys and, yeah. Wow. Okay. Anyway, sorry. 
So that's that bit. Yeah. So that's the first one. Yeah. And then the next one, you do the same, but then you add a little bit at the end. I was going to say, because you need to <coughs> create a yeah. corner, don't exactly. you? Exactly. And the long corners are actually diamond. Oh, this is a nice idea from Barbara. Barb. Barb. No, because your mum doesn't like being called Barb, does she? But she's in Birmingham. She's in Birmingham. Uh, hello, both. Enjoying the show. Although not keen on table toppers. I'm the same, really. Oh, no, mm. I don't like table runners. She's, I'd use this as a sewing machine mat. <gasps> oh, yes! What a Brilliant. lovely idea, Barb. That on the, on the wall, but underneath the sewing machine. Right, yep. okay, so when you get to the corner... Yeah, so on the, the long ones, not on the middle ones. Oh, okay. It's a diamond, so it's two opposite from each other. Right. Facing But we've ways. obviously got... Two, we've only got two the same yeah, at the moment. that's yeah. what we got. And then, so then what happens on that corner there then? On that corner, let me show you, because I have to How make many sure minutes have we got, Paul? Oh, actually, that goes that way. I'm having such a lovely time, I forget about the time. Got three minutes. So, so this corner, you make a diamond yep. shape there. Oh, wait, I've got it the wrong way around. There we go. Oh, there you go. So you make a... Yeah, and that goes... They would have one like yeah, that, yeah, then and be... then another one like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then what on happens corner, at that corner there? So on this corner, on this bit, you will have... Um, that's that way. So that's this way. But then you put one, no. Like that. So they match like that. No. Yeah. I mean, these are both the same. And then you'll have, so if you Now you've got two pointy, two pointy ones. Yeah. Oh, that's just the other way. That's true. Oh, no, oh. you have not on that corner over there. Yeah, so one of these. You don't want them wrong. Yeah. Oh. No, <laughs> it not was wrong. Bound to never, happen. never wrong, never wrong, never wrong. So that's what you were just doing here. Yeah. By having two going like in the opposite yeah, way there. there. Yeah. But I like that corner best. Mm -hmm. I like the so that's how it should be. But I like the wrong corner best. Look down there. I like that <laughs> corner best. But it's funny, isn't it? Because yeah, that's yeah. the way she's designed it. Yeah. I don't understand that, but this is the way she's designed it. Yeah. But I actually prefer your mistake way yeah. of doing it because I quite like the way it kind of closes in, whereas yeah. that kind of opens out, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. So, all right, so so we've only got a minute and a half, so we okay. won't say anything. So, no. wh how, do you, when do you attach any of this to this? Uh, once you've got all your strips sewn, or you can do them in order. So, so you, make, you just make four completely separate strips? So you don't yes. sew them together to create a diamond? Do Not you? yet. No, okay. No, and they're all going to be a different size. So this yes. one is going to overlap here, but it's going to end here. Yeah. Like this one does. Yeah. And then the next one will overlap there and end here. Got it. And then the last one is your longest one, where yep. you've got your diamond here yep. all the way across. Yeah. So then you sew them on in order. So this would be one... Oh, okay, so while they're still stripped, so this, yep. would be, this would go on like that, yep. and then you press that one, then you do that one, yep. but that one would go from there, would you, does it carry all on way, right yeah, to, all the the end there, to the end there, fold, so it's like doing when you do your top and your bottom of a quilt, but you're not doing two top and bottom side by side, you're no, actually going round. round, so your last one would actually go, you detach it from there, mm -hmm. all the way down yeah, to there, yeah, it's the longest one, yeah, 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 perfect, so then you've done all of that, mm -hmm. then did you, I quilted it, now, what did you use? Did you use Thermalan? Oh, yes, the inside. Yes, I did. We've got Thermalan here, so which can... is like, um, keeps things warm. Mm -hmm. It stops, it can stop your, uh, the heat going through to your table. table. So if you do put hot pans on it, you can just put wadding in it. You can just put, if you're just going to use it as mm -hmm. a sewing machine thing, you can just do that. But if you want some Thermalan, yeah, 449. Just in case. But you'd need more than just that, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you need, did you just use that? I just used one, but yeah. Because be, what they say you... is if you are going to use it with warm things, it's like when you use, make oven gloves, use one layer of thermland and also use a layer of wadding okay. so that that soaks up any condensation. Oh. Okay. Good to know. But that's that, that's that, that. So that's that. Yeah. And then you literally uh, made a sandwich and yeah, you. Yeah, um, I just quilted. So I did a quarter of an inch it, roughly in. Yeah, inside. there's nothing in there at all. No, but you could. You yeah, could I if would. you wanted a free yeah. motion, yeah. Um, and then I just did the lines. So you can Perfect. do it as much or as yeah. little as you want. Exactly. Now, we think there's enough of this fabric to do a backing Back. if you're not going to make something else. Right, got to yeah. go. But you're back in an hour. Yes. Doing well, this. And we've got the red version, we've got a blue version, and we've got a jewel version, all coming up with you in an hour's yeah. time. Perfect. Brilliant. See Thank you bit. very much indeed. Oh, see you in an hour. Right, so. Say this again. Oh, no, no, the, the, I've, got, I've got someone here, but it was polyester one. But, but you can use whichever wadding you want to go underneath it, yeah. Okay, book. Over three quarters of the stock has gone. Of the tape, Annie's, Annie's Quilter's books always fly out. 
you get nine projects. They're a pound each. The projects are a pound each, if you think about it. Say it again, Christopher. Single figures. Single figures we're down to on that one now. Well done. So you got that. Uh, four bundles very quickly. Most popular. Tambourine, which is the one that was already made over there. So you get a metre and a half of the sapphire. You get a metre of the Anna Maria Horner spinster. Then you also get the eight fat quarters made from linear. They're Macau. Aren't they beautiful? Plus your thread. £47.99. That's the most popular. The green folk is the next most popular. So we've got a metre and a half of the, uh, when well it's green, it's called uh, Misty Blue. Uh, that one's your daisy chain, you get a metre of that, plus your green folk, which is that one there, plus your green thread. Right, that one was more limited, but over half the stock of that one has gone already. Then what's the next most favourite? Oh, Paisley, good. I knew Paisley. Paisley, so you get a metre and a half of your peach, a metre of your Paisley, your fat quarters made of bijou, plus your thread, £48.99. And then last but not least, we've got the chambray. Uh, uh, chambray. We've just been demonstrating with this one. Metre and a half of the chambray, metre of your uh, daisy chain, your blue indigo folk um, fat quarters, plus your thread, £62.49. Have I got time to do the ruler? Time to do the ruler very quickly. You see how make, having the ruler makes it simpler. Uh, Emma used her 60 degree line on her, on her normal ruler and it didn't work. So this make, would make life so much easier. And you won't just use it for triangles, you use it for lots and lots of different things. Look, uh, 20 pounds and 99 pence. Right, don't go anywhere. I was with uh, Charlotte when we did this uh, butterfly quilt the first time round. Uh, isn't it lovely? Look at the one, look at this one. One of the choices today is in the red and the grey. How dramatic is that? Isn't it incredible? Now, I've got three, <coughs> excuse me, three different versions for you today. I've got that red and grey one. I've got the blue and white one, which you're going to be seeing, or blue and cream one that you're going to see Emma making. And I've got a jewelled one as well. It's not jewelled, it's like be jewel, ge gem, gem colours, gem colours coming up as well. So. Let's get straight on, let's get straight on, because there's a lot to this, because there's lots of sewing and cutting, unpicking, cutting and sewing and unpicking, and already the questions are coming in uh, for Emma to answer already. So, so this is the first one. This is called Black and Red. Um, somebody's moved the, te the telly. Um, Black and Red, a Bargello. What's that telly doing all the way over there, Michael? Black and Red, Bargello Butterfly. I can't see it when I'm standing here, not all. Uh, Black and Red, Bargello Butterfly. Could. Yeah, six and a half metres of fabric. Thank you. Uh, 59.99, that's good, isn't it? And the instructions and two threads. What you get is one and a half of white, is it? One and a half of white, and then half a metre, 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 half a metre. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. 59 pounds and 99 pence, plus two threads. Plus some bonder web, which you don't normally get in a quilt kit, do you? Plus the instructions, 59.99. So that's the red and black and white one. Then the one we're going to be demoing, or I'm not, Emma is, is this beautiful range of blues. Uh, uh, beneath half of vanilla, half a metre of black, uh, midnight, half a metre of navy, and then all the different blues all the way through to powder blue, plus half a metre of your spot on blue, 59.99. There's the steel, you do get the bond web, you do get two threads and you do get uh, your instructions. And then last but not least, now I think this one would just look, I mean, they're, they're, they're gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but this is, I think this one would be breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. So uh, one and a half metres of ivory in that one, and then half a metre, 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 half a metre. Beautiful colours. Now, there's no, there's no spot on in this one, which I think, just all those colours. Look at that. Plus your bond web, plus your two threads, plus your instructions. 
Uh, now, even if you're not going to make this, right? Six and a half metres of fabric plus bond wear plus thread. That's 57.99. It's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, have a look at the quilt while I walk over. There it is. That's the red, black and grey one. We're going to be doing the blue version. I'd love to see the... Um, don't you think the multicolours yes. one would look gorgeous? It would, yeah. Uh, right. I, we have to, now you have to concentrate, don't you? Not you. <laughs> one has to concentrate on this. So, yes. so I won't witter on as much in this okay. out because even though it's lots of sewing of strips together, mm -hmm. it's then the cutting out and the yes. unpicking, which is important. Because exactly. on a Bargello around the world, it, once you've got the, it going, it's the same thing all the time. But mm -hmm. this is going to be different, it isn't is. it? Because you're making four different parts to yes. this, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so where do you start? Where do we start? So the first thing, which I always do, is your colours. Right. So because, depending on which kit you have, right. because your colours won't necessarily correspond to your... Okay, so I can just turn that to you. Yeah, so that's what I always do. So you see this here. Okay, so one, two, and three. Do you, are there only three? Yep. So uh, you need to set out your colours. So you need to decide which colour is which number yeah. out of your nine fabrics, right? You need to decide which color, because now, you know you've got a spot on. Do you need to work out where, uh, where, it, where it's gonna go in your pattern yes. before you even start? Yes, So you need that's to, what this part is. Right, okay. So you need to look here. So if mm -hmm. you know you want yours, you've got your second one down. Yeah. So you know that your spot on is that pale blue there and that pale blue down there. Mm -hmm. So you then need to look on here and think. That was actually number nine. So that was fabric that number one, nine. That one, fabric yeah. number nine. So on this one, your spot on will be there. Mm -hmm. It's not in that one at all, no. but it's number two in that one. Yeah, it actually goes from the bottom. So it's oh, one, two, whichever three. way. Right. Yeah, oh, so you, this one, so, and each number. So if I, I've decided that color one, is the very pale blue. Right. Colour two is the next one up. I've done a gradient. So oh, three, okay, okay, four, okay. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. And, and then, the last one is nine, I mean eight repeated again. Right, okay. So that nine there is yeah. in the spot. So if, you, if you've got the spot, the red one, the spot on would be number nine. If you've got this blue one, the spot on would be number nine. But then it doesn't matter so much with that no. one, which one you choose, because they're all going to be... Yeah. But if you've got a particular colour you want to feature, mm -hmm. then you make sure you... Just, right, okay, yeah. that's but, fine. But don't worry if you're... Even if you've sewn them all together and you decide to change it, which I did, right. <laughs> um, it's still possible. Oh, okay, perfect. So perfect. it's not the end of the world if you no, put okay. it together and like, oh. So, so first things first, you choose which of your fabrics Ricks. correspond to their fabrics. Yes. Right. Okay. Then the next step. So the next step is it does tell you how much, so fabrics one through nine. Yes. It'll tell you how many strips to cut of each. And these are all the same widths at this time. So they're all two and a half Inches. inch strips. Right. Yes. Oh, right. So I've done most of it already. Yeah. So this is going to be, this is a bit I've got left over for my extra color that I've used to make the body. Yes. And I'm going to use this for the binding. Right, okay. So I'm just going to show you using the stripology ruler. Perfect. Cutting strips first. Yeah, you want to do that, I'll just get the packed up one, which is over okay. here. Okay. <clears throat> so if I open it out. Yep. So this is your creative grade stripology ruler, 59.99. If you want to become a, you know, Natasha, will be back, well, how quickly is the year, her maternity year going to be back mm. in September? Ooh. Um, uh, Natasha Strippers, you've all got these, you all love these, you all want these. Yep. Um, but Emma, um, it, it basically, uh, $53.99, um, uh, basically it's for cutting, lot, if you're cutting lots, lots and lots strips. and lots of strips. Not Even if you're not doing the same, because all of yours are exactly the same size, but yes. you're doing different size yeah. strips. Yeah, within half you, an inch of each other. Yeah, I'll let you explain. Yeah, so it's for this part, for the initial bit, so what I've done is I've folded my fabric in half yeah. and lined it up. So what I do is make sure, because you'll see, this is exactly Yes, so even. don't line up your selvage rather than the edge yeah. of your fabric. Yeah, so I line up my selvages and make sure that my fabric is laying fat, if flat rather. Yeah, it's not fat, yeah. <laughs> uh, If it's wrinkled at the bottom, I just move the selvage edges one way or the other yeah. to, in order to line it up. Fold it again in quarters, lining my selvage up, up with my middle line. And then what I do is on my mat, I'm just going to line up the bottom folded edge with the line that's on there. Okay. I'm going to put my ruler, so I tend to cut this way. Right. So my zero is here. Right. But if, you, if you're left-handed, it's easier to do it the other way. 
So what I've done, you've got a um, dotted line at the very edge, which you would line up with your roughly your edge. And then your first cut is about a quarter of an inch in from that. Yeah, so you're squaring off using the rule as well, because normally you have yes. to square off the fabric. Don't exactly. You it off with you. So I've got a nice white line at the bottom that I've lined up with the bottom of my fabric. Yeah. If you, can I just say before you start cutting, if yeah, you yeah. want to use it the other way, you see here it's exactly the same from the other side. You've got a line to line up the edge yep. of the fabric. Um, the only difference here is you've got your inch increments and your half inch increments, but also on this side, if you're going to be cutting lots and lots of uh, jelly roll, like two and a half, mm -hmm. you follow the square. And if you're doing one and a half inch strips, you follow the diamond. So you don't have to keep counting Ooh. the numbers. You can just count, count the, 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 see there, there's the symbols for the one and a half and then the squares for the two and a half inch ones. Perfect. Okay. So, just line up my ruler inside the slot. Literally just go straight down. So I'm right. going to do, because I'm going to do... How, how wide do you, oh, do you're cutting your binding now, my binding, so I'm going to do three inches. Right. Because I, I like to have a nice generous, yeah. enough to fold over. There we go. So I'm just counting to six to nine. Yeah. And then 12. And then 15, that should be enough. And then my last strip, I'm actually going to do one, one inches. Right, okay. And I'll tell you for why when we okay. get to that bit. So I've got a one inch strip. And what I like about this is that your fabric hasn't shifted. No. You know they're exactly two and a half inches, and this is actually what we're going to use to cut the strips afterwards, so that it's all going to be exactly the yeah. same. You can use it for lots of other things as well, because you've got angles on there. You can do triangles, you can subcut, you can do diamonds, and all sorts of things like that. You'll get a little booklet with it <coughs> when it explains all of that. So that's all my binding strips. But how, and if you were cutting that with a root, I mean, just how much time does yes, it save if you're doing, especially if you're doing a Bargello or around the, a trip around the world, mm -hmm. you're, all you're doing is cutting strips, 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 strips. Strip, strip, yeah. yeah, and this one, most of them are, I think you need four inches of each colour. Right. One of them is five, and then you, from number eight, you need six. Right. Yeah. So it's going to be quite a lot. Yes. So but all the strips you cut to begin with are all, were they all two and a half inches? Though? Yes. They're all, all two and, two and, and a half, half inches. inches. Yeah. Now, the next step. So we actually had a question in already from a lady called Therese. Yeah. And she wanted to explain the first part. Now, I got confused at the first part as well. Right. <laughs> so it gives you your examples. You've got one, two, three sets of strips. Right. That you need to, that's the order, the three orders. Right. And of your first one, I've got them all done already. Right. It tells you to sew um, one and a half strips. So what it means, and I've got them all done here. So for your... So, so that's your width of fabric there? Yeah, so the whole width of fabric, this is a half, yes. this is my half. So on your order one, yes. you need one full set of strips, the whole width of fabric, yeah. sewn together, yeah. quarter of an inch seam, yeah. um, pressed open, Right, all, every single one. Yes, yeah. which I have to admit, when I saw that, I'm like, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> but it actually went really quick. Yeah. And, it, and it also it helped to, because sometimes when you sew strips together and you're, you're pressing to one side, your strips can go a little bit wavy. Yeah. And pressing them open just kept them really nice and straight. Okay, so, so it says you that. need one of those at the width of fabric. One and a half. So this is one, and then half a strip. So oh, I so like, like 22 inches or something like that. Yeah. So I just literally, I just took a strips and I just literally folded them in half and cut them in the middle. Right. With so it says sew one and a half of the two and a half inch fabric strips yep. together in the order shown in the diagram. Yeah. And that's for one. That's yes. for your order one. Yes. So that's the first one that you'll do. Yeah. So one full strip and a half one. Then step two. Step oh, two. Seems, oh, right. And then the next one oh, is right, two. Okay. So order two, you will sew a half a strip per each colour. Right. So if actually it's this way, if I do it. Yeah. So I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Six. And then three, four, five, six. Oh, so three gets repeated. Yes. Yeah. So, so you're literally sewn together. One, two, one, two, three, six, five, four, three. Three. Right. Yeah. So you've moved is... six. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the, all you need of this order. 
Oh, okay, for that's, number two. Yep, yeah, that's all you need for that. So where does it say that then? So oh, step two. No, uh, no so it's, it's with, with the... With the O2 there, right. Okay. Yes. So half of each strip together in the order shown in the diagram. Okay, yeah. so in... Right, okay, perfect. So in your instructions, if you follow the numbers and the hexagons... Yes, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, so everything below one, zero one, relates to, to that. order one. Got yeah. it. And then zero two, all those instructions relate to this. Right. So one. then when you go to zero three, three. there, is yeah. that where you start reading for zero yes, three? Yes, exactly. Right. So That's... zero three, it says, um, so five of the two and a half, in, is this right, Rory, to the right group? Um, step five, set. So two of the two and a half inch strips together in the order shown. So what you'll do is of order three, yeah. you'll have two full sets of strips. Right, full, okay, got it. The full width. Yeah. Yeah, two two of them. So that's, yeah. they, they've called these, she's called these the two and a half inch fabric strips. So that yes. is the two and a half, and you want two full ones yes. for, the, for number order three. Order three. Because I'm yes. presuming that's... Mostly... Um, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, we'll get most, most right, on the bottom. Right, okay. So, so Therese, that's what it means, is when it says, so one and a half of the two and a half inch fabric yeah, strips. Yeah, if we go back to the that, beginning. That is your two and a half inch fabric strip, yeah. sorry. That's two of them for number three. That's half of it for, for number, number two. two. And then one and a half, half of them for number, for number one. one. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just like that. Well explained. Right, okay. So, and the, the only thing that, well, it confused me as well, but when you start sewing them together, um, the actual number of strips that you've got cut out corresponds to all of this. Perfect. So if you get confused, I, what I did was I just started sewing one whole strip of one and three, because I know I had to do a whole strip, and then from that I worked out what else. Yeah. Um, but that's and do you have to keep them in, they have to be kept in the right order, like as in you need to keep them in the order yes. that they are here all the time. Don't twist them around or anything, because you, your squares yes. will go wrong. Yes. Okay. So it has to be kept in the same yeah. in the same order. Right. So, so once you've cut do those out, yeah. your sections out. So press open. So yeah. You want to do a little press open because it's and we did it earlier today. Oh, I see. I see why I'm getting confused because it tells you how to that you need one and a half of number one. Then it tells you what to do with those one and a half before it goes on to yes. number two. What I would have done if I'd written these is I'd have said, make these three now with your first section, do this. Yes. So basically the first one says, so one and a half, the two and a half inch fabric strips together, which you've done. Yeah. But we're now going to press the seams open, we've done and cut strip sets. And that's what you're going to do yes. next is from the one and a half of the first one yep. order, you're going to cut these Those. different size yes. strips. Right. And actually what I did, I didn't actually follow this part. Okay. I, because I'm more visual. Yeah. It tells you in the diagram, it gives you all of your... Oh, okay. Yeah. So I literally, I skipped that part. I sewed all my strips together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I went straight to the diagram right. and but I worked out... But if you want to do it with words, then, yes. then the words then are the here. Then the words are yeah. all here. Yeah, brilliant. That you need. Okay. Perfect. So. Put this aside for now. I'm gonna start. This is gonna make the top wing. So we're gonna construct so one quarter. I was gonna say, how do you know which of these bits make which wing? It's the oh, well, what you, you can do, and which I think I did on mine. So what you can do is actually write on here. Yes. What number fabric it is. Right. So I think this strip. This strip here is the only one that has all of the colours in right. it for the top wing. Otherwise, you've got bits taken off. Yes. Actually, I think this one and this one are both the same. Have the full complement of right. colours in okay. it. So what you can do is write one through nine on there so you can keep track. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. So I'm going to do it like this. So are we doing section one? Yes. As in, as in one. the ones we cut one and yeah. a half of, this is what we've yeah. got right okay. And for your top wings, you actually need two strips the same size. Right. It's just when you get to sew them together, they need to be mirrored, right. opposite. Yeah, of course, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to do, so this actually fits underneath the ruler. Just right. fold it in half. Make sure it's all lined up. And you can do it the, with the seams in if you, if you prefer. 
Was it? Did you just do a normal quarter of an inch seam on this one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, just a normal quarter of an inch. And for this one, because you're all going to be sewing it together, and it's all going to fit together, as long as you use the same machine, same quarter of an inch, it'll all be fine. Yeah. Right. Line up my right to here. Uh, bought the blue, it's gorgeous, says Joyce. Please can mm. you tell me the finished size? Love oh. every show today. I should be painting. Yes. <laughs> yes, you should. We can do that at one o'clock, Joyce. Yeah. Actually, we might need to... I'll measure it, shall yes, I? Yes, please, because it. I looked through it and I couldn't see. I think it's from when I... 44 it. drop. 60-something, I think. Oh, no. It's almost 60. Would you, you work in centimetres or inches? No, it was inches, so I could be wrong. I think it's like 56, 56 and a half, this one is. So 56 and a half across by 43 drop. Okay, right. right. Now so what, now, how do you know what size strips you're cutting now? Then? Okay, so you either two, one or two ways. So me, I went over, I started cutting from the middle yes. out. So I know I need... Um, four one and a half inch sorry six and one and a half inch strips total for both wings right or it'll also tell you in the instructions oh she's actually got four strips I'm trying to think because um, you will take them apart but they're gonna you're gonna need the same colors hang on let's have a look oh wait, no that's background I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong. Yeah, that's right, yeah. six, one and a half. Six, so it says here, what you need to do for the first section, you cut six strips of one and a half, half. inch. That's two. One and a half. So if you've done it from the other side, you could just have followed your stars. I know. So six one and a halves. Mm-hmm. Is that your six? Yep. Right, now you need four two and a half inch strips. Which I'm on, yeah, 11 and a half. Two, 14. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Right, then it, the next go. thing is you're going to need to move your fabric, aren't yeah. you? Because then you need six three and a half inch strips. How brilliant that is, all very precise. Yes. So it's all those. So it's one, oh, Therese two, says, uh, three, hello, thank you so four. much, Emma. That was driving me mad. Good. Big oh, good. Ah, oh, good. Okay, you ready for the next Ooh. one? Just rearranging it a little bit. Yeah. It, make sure it's all good and tight. So you need six three and a half inch strips. Okay. I'm going to square off my end again. Yeah. <clears throat> How many two and a half inch strips was it again? You should have four two, two and a half three, inch strips. Four. Oh, okay. That is perfect. Six. Oh, square off first. Yep. Then you need six three and a half inch strips. One, two. Oh, not quite. That's five. You got the last one out now? No. Okay, so that, this is why. This is why also you need one and a half of this, isn't it? Because you yes. haven't finished cutting them yet, so you'll no. need the other half as well. So you only need, to, uh, to, uh, yeah, you've still got one more three and a half to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, do it from the end so it's accurate. Oh, Ooh. Move. It's, it did move, that's me. Operator error. Yeah, I was just checking the time, I was miles away. Oh, okay. No, no, you're right, it's fine. There we go. 
right? There. But then you're going to need to go into your other piece because you now need two four and a half, half inch. inch strips. Okay. Which will use your other half of one that mm -hmm. you made, didn't you? Make sure you get the right one. Yep. Just need to press this. Nice, oh, you haven't nice finished steaming that. I didn't press it out yet. That's the only bit. Well, finger press. It'll play flat. We'll make it. Yeah. I think um, when uh, when Charlotte used it, when I did this the first time, she didn't iron any of them. She just used oh, the roller for roller, all of it. Hmm. Yeah. She's not sort sitting home watching going, yes, I did. <laughs> I used the iron. <laughs> oh, poor little Paul bought the roller. Oh. Oh, no. Has he not bought you one? No. no. Yes, he left out. He's got his favourite, she's mm, I see how it is. Yeah. Right, so so you want half. two four and a half inch strips. Don't worry, I'm going to get charged for that blooming turny tool I opened in the last hour. Oh. Right, now, why have you got, what's all this, why do you need all of this then? That's extra. So what this is, is... Spare. Yes. Case of mistakes. Exactly. Fine, fine, <laughs> that's fine. Yes. Okay, so you've cut all of the, you need out for section one, you've cut all the pieces out that you need for the butterfly. Yes. Uh, then for the, the next wing. instruction... Oh, wait, there is one more bit I need oh. actually for the top part, is um, the middle section. I need some of those. Number two? Yes. So number two was just one piece, wasn't it? One, one little piece. I uh, think two. That... Here we go. Uh, so right. Uh, so two of the two notches and together and all just on the ground. Right. Then you need, this is what you need to cut out of these. Yes. So six one and a half inch strips. Okay. So this is definitely number, you've got number two there, haven't you? Yes. Because it's the smallest of them. But then is, is it going to be enough? Did you make two of them? Oh, yeah, you've made two of them. Or any one of them. Oh, let me have a look. Sorry. No, that's right. I need no, to do no, the visual. Am I reading the wrong bit? I'm not putting you off. So these... Oh, that's right. So it should only be these, two and a half inch. No, two and a half inch. Four and a... Oh, OK. Yeah, two and a half inch wide. Please. OK. All of them two and a half inch wide. Yeah. Where does it say that? So, oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah. So press the seams open, which you've done. Yeah. Cut the strip set into six two and a half inch strips. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I, I see, this is yeah. why I shouldn't be your assistant. I just jumped onto number three. Sweet. Sorry. So you need to cut six two and a half inch strips. Okay. There'll be messages on Facebook that are going, he should have shut up. He should have left her alone <laughs> to do it. Count. So you wanted, how many did you want? Six? Yeah, I'm just gonna. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you went a bit six. overboard there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> right, okay. So, right, so now we've got those. Right. So, now, now do you cut the background part. out yet, or do you still stay with Barge Hello at the moment? I, when I put it together, I did it just the bar jello at this point. Right. But you can cut the, the background strips, which might help you, which I okay. did do. So of the background strips, you only need about three different widths. So I think it's... Here you go. From the background fabric, cut out as follows. Four, is this it here? Four yeah. strips of one and a half, half inch. You mark them up. There you go. Yeah. So that's your one and a half. Right. Four of those. Twelve of two and a half. Two and a half. Two of three and a half. Three and a half. And one of four, four and, and a half. half. Which is right there. So there, that's all the background you need for the whole yes. thing. Yep. So that's all of your background for mm -hmm. the whole of that quilt. Yes. Perfect, right? Yep. Okay. I've actually even started cutting some of them up. Oh, and then you, then you sub-cut them, do you? Yes. For each section? Yes. Does it tie? I'm just looking now. So that's from the background fabric cut, then piecing the butterfly. So I'm just pressing the seams. So, so oh, half yeah. of each strip together, oh, yeah. you're just shown. Okay. Press the seams. 
Okay, so then you might have to go... To, to, then it says, to look the, at the picture. Yeah, Actually, go to it says, the diagram. Uh, sew them together as shown in the diagram. Okay, so you then go to... I love this butterfly, it's stunning, and blue is my favourite colour too, oh. but I'm finding it all a bit confusing. <laughs> Tell me it's easier than it sounds. It's a lot easier than Tina, it. Tina, yes. sorry, that'd be my yeah. bad. I'll shut up. No, 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 it's good. So, the first bit is... Um, I'm going to start in the middle and work right. my way out. So now you need... I looked at... It's got all the dimensions, so this part and this part has all the dimensions you need. Yeah. So, we're going to take a one and a half inch strip, and then we need to start taking them apart. So, we need... This is where it helps to have the numbers. Yes. So you're starting there. here. Are you starting? Where are you starting? Right in the middle. He, there. Right in the middle of this there. strip here. So my top piece is going to be spot on, which is number nine, colour number nine. Yeah, number nine is your spot on. So you've got. And then three. Just three. Yeah. And then what happens to the ones you've unpicked? Those are extra. Oh, they don't get added on anywhere else. No. Okay. But they're good to have because when I did the red one, I actually had two colours differently. So I actually had the pale grey yeah. where the maroon is. I had them switched around. Oh, okay. So it's good oh, to have, yeah. Yeah, right. and I, it just, once I had the wing together, I just, it just did not look Okay, right. so you've got those three, and then the next one is... Ooh. Yeah. Is that also the blue spot one there? It is, so that one will go like this. So I'm doing it upside down. So then I need to take it off here. This is where it helps to have a, a table to lay it out yes, and course, not yeah. have it disturbed for a little while or a bed or, yeah. So that's my next one. Next one over is another three and a half inch strip. Oh, the other thing you can do, which is what I did. Um, if you do two strips together the, the same, lay them on top of each other, you're in effect doing both wings at the same time. Oh yes, but I don't think that's, it's, uh, no. Yeah, that's what I, I did just to make it quick. So I'll do that. Just so we've got another one on top. So yeah, so then if I want to do the other wing at the same time, then that's the oh, strip yes, that yes, goes yes, there. Yeah. Can I learn and manage the quilt? I love it, but it seems to be complicated. Well done, Emma. You say oh. well done because I'm interrupting her. <laughs> but I'm only, I'm only the voice of the person who's just yes. starting it. So. Like, yeah. yeah. Are you doing no, both no. wings at the same time? Or have you moved on to the next one? Are you moved on to the next yeah, one? Yeah, doing the next one. So that's three. Okay. Yeah. Um, four is a two and a half inch strip. Yeah. Yeah, because that would be my other two for the other wing. And then we need to go one more up like this. I'm just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. And actually, this is where pressing them open makes it really easy to take yeah. them apart as well. So thanks, Charlotte. It really does work well. There we go. And then the next one is a three and a half. And again, it's one more step up. All right. Another color. <laughs> Chris is saying it does seem to come together quite quickly. You haven't started stitching yet, Chris. <laughs> Well, that's what I do like. Once you've got all the bits cut out and you start putting them together, you really do get to see the, yeah. the design. And it, again, it, it was at this point that I decided, like, mm, no. And then my, my friend Josie, she did the unpicking for me while oh, I okay. stitched it back up, which really helped. Right, so now you need, you're going back to a three and a half now. Oh, well, it was a three and a half. So I need a four oh, and sorry, a half. Oh, sorry, four and a half, Nancy. That's why you don't need me in the house. <laughs> Because we moved up the board, my finger must have moved up the board. Yeah. So I'll move it See, it's happened again now. It's growing. I can get, I can move that one, can yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, that one is for next for the other side, so we don't need it. Yeah, thankfully, when I decided to change the colour, all these extra little bits was some of it. We could just move one, switch the other one. You know what I mean? 
switch the pieces around, but it helped to know we got some extras to... Yes. In case they went walkies. Just seems a shame to sew them all together then and pick them, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it... Yeah. But then I suppose the only other way of doing that would be cutting hundreds and hundreds of squares and rectangles and sewing lots yes, of little bits together. together. And this actually helps to... Well, for me, it, it helped to visualise it. Yeah. That you're shifting them up and down by one or two colours. There we go. Okay. So the next one's back to three and a half. Three and a half. But still going, you're still going up one. You, you okay. The other way up here. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Oh, so that's my full. That's your full complement. Full one. Right. And then we're going back to another. Three and a half. Three and a, uh, is that three? Yeah, three and a half. But they'll but be. But this time. It's one up. And what I'll do is. So these are your background ones that you've cut. Yeah. Put one background in there. Yeah. Now. So going back to the first one, you want one and a half by 16 and a half first. Is that right? One and a half by 16 and a half. Mm. Yeah, that's 12 and a half. Which one's 12? That's your one? next one. That's the second okay. one along. And that will be there. So the next one's one and a half by 10 and a half, yeah. That would be my... That's it. There we go. Then your next one's a two and a half by eight and a half. You see, I do have, I do have mm -hmm. uses. Oh, that's too long. No. Yeah. There we go. Then the next one's three and a half by six and a half. Ooh. This is where little labels come in. <laughs> that would just mean I'd be, have to be organised. That's not, is that long enough? No. no. Oh. Mm. oh, I did cut it, but I might have cut it wrong. Right, we'll go to the next one. Next one's four okay. and a half. We'll put it there anyway, just because it will show you. The yeah, thing. next one's four and a half by four and a half. That I've got right. Yeah. Then the next one's three and a half by two and a half. That one's I've got right. And the next one, oh, there's none on the next one. Oh, no, those are my two and a half. There we go. There okay. you go. So it's only that one there, but yeah. it's fine. Yeah. So then, but then what's the next, what's the next stripe then after that? So then that, then it's the... It's two and a half. Uh, but then we take the top, the top bit off, because this is that strip now. Right. So we take the top bit off, and you start adding... So you start more. adding the equivalent of this up in that corner? Yes. Now. Right. <clears throat> so it's two and a half, and the pale, the blue spot is at the top. Yes. At well, the bottom on your case, that's it. But it doesn't match at the other end because at the other yeah. end you need a two and a half by four and a half at the other end. That's it. Voila. So then the next one. Oh, now this one hasn't got a spot Ooh. on in it, this one. No, this is now from our next strip that this we did. This is the other way around now. Yeah, so this is the one, the middle bit, the, the number two strips. Oh, so we've, so we've, okay. So. How do you know that's from number two strip? Because of the order of the fabric. Yes. Yeah. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's right, okay. a full strip, which goes one down. One down. Because at this end here, where your left hand is, you've got two and a half by two and a half inch. Cream. Right? And at the other end, you've got a two and a half by six and a half. That's okay. it. Then this next one. Is yeah, we've only got two more to do, and then I can go and do the fabrics, you see. So okay. then I've got two, uh, the next one is a two and a half inch strip, and you start with... One, two, three, four. I think it's, I think this is right. Two and a half by four, and if you start with the same colour as that one, but it's one down. Yeah, and it's only got four squares. And it's it? only got four squares. I tell you what's confusing me is the fact that this has got colours on it. I, don't, I, I think yes. I'd have to do is photocopy this and colour it in with my crayons. Yeah, or numbers. <laughs> Yeah. I need my what, Paul? No. So that's like that. Then right, yeah, and then you need a two and a half by four and a half at one end, and the other ones are two and a half by ten and a half. Ooh. I should have that. <coughs> oh. We'll leave that. Yeah. No. And then the last one, you've only got two coloured squares in. Ah. 
Is that right? Yeah, the yeah. two lightest ones. So then it goes like that. Yeah. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this isn't some... Um, I'd have lost my temper with it by now. <laughs> Yeah, so you need a two and a half by six and a half at this end and a two and a half by twelve and a half at the other end. Mm. That's fine, I'll go and do yeah. round up I know now. I'll cut it, but yeah. I've got a strip anyway. So if we can see that. It's close enough. Okay. Yeah. So, so now I'm going to go over there to do a recap. How would you, would you then sew the cream to that to create stripes and then sew them all together yes. that way? Okay. Yes. Right, let me go and do bundles before okay. you carry on. Sorry, my kit's before I come. How much time we got? How much time we got, Paul? 14 minutes we've got oh. when I come back. Yeah. Oh, that sounds, sounds you pleased with 14 minutes. That's good. Well, don't need my glasses. Right. Blue one is this one here. Oh, what? There's only four left and there's four in baskets. So if all of you check out, that's whole bundle gone there. Six and a half metres of fabric, instructions, thread and bonder web. £59.99. That's the blue one. That'll have gone, yeah. Which one? There we go, the jewelled one's next. So, out of that one, you get, again, you get six and a half metres of fabric. Uh, you get your one and a half of your ivory, and then half metre all your gorgeous colours, your thread, and your instructions. Do you know what? I think that one will be easier to follow the instructions because you can almost put. You can put the colours like the template, can't you, on that one almost, plus the instructions, £57.99. And then the red and the grey, they're, they're all very, very close. They're all very, very close. You get a metre half of white in this, and you've got black, dark grey, mid grey, light grey, reds, maroons, red spot on. That'll create the one that's on the wall. Paul will show you a picture in a minute. There's the kit. Right. Yeah, that red one, I thought it looked like a cinnabar moth. But whenever I said that, everybody said a what? You thought it looked like a what? A cinnabar moth. Cinnabar? Yeah. Moth? Yeah. It's got too many wings to be a moth, hasn't it? Yeah, but they're red and black. Oh, are they? Yeah. Well, so is a red admiral. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I'd, I'd almost want to do that as a red admiral, but where... Either the spot Ooh. is, I'd want to put, because they've got yellow, haven't they got a bit of yellow, like a two eyes oh, here. Yes. Anyway, I won't yeah, make yeah. it even more complicated than it already is. Yeah, but that's the thing, the fun part is once you get to this point, yes. you can also, still, yeah. there's no, still no, time no, to no, play I around. Now to this point, I'm fine. It was just when you yeah. first started on picking, I was like, I've got no idea what she's talking yeah. about. But if there's any colours that you think just don't go, there's yes. still, you know. Or you could literally, once you've got it pinned, uh, once you've got it this way, if you want to add the, like, the eyes of a, of a red admiral, you yeah. could do it. Oh, yeah, you, you could applicate, yeah. definitely. Oh, now you're being brave. Chain piece, you see. I think I'd have to do one time, put it back in its place. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that, leave it like it is. Then we can start piecing them together. Well, the thing about chain piecing is that they, they still stay in order. So oh, yeah, well, they did until you unpicked them. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Two and a half inches next, isn't it? It goes uh, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, yeah. and then a th and then got an and then that's a three and a half yeah. one there again, right? Two okay. And a half. So you literally sew them together so they're complete, so they're all the same length basically. Yeah. Then you sew them together yeah. like that. Don't try stretching it on. <laughs> well, I don't know. If, did I do? That? I think that might have been the wrong shape piece. Yeah. Never mind. But there. But you'll get because those those will be the same length. They will they, be, yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay. And so what you do is so you've got one wing like this. Okay. 
So which wing's that? What wing have we done there? That is this one. Right. So you have to do the mirror image of that one now. Yeah. Which is here. They've got there's a drawing of it here. Yeah. So you can do it. And then you do that bottom wing and do the mirror image of that. So you've got four yes. sections all made up. Yes. Right. Then what do we do? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> no, you do what I didn't. You are. You don't do what I did the first time. Oh, right. <laughs> so there is actually a strip in between the two. So once you've got all your four sections together. Oh, don't say them. You just sewed them together. Yeah, yeah. but in the wrong in the wrong order. Oh. So what you do is, as it does show you, you sew your bottom and your top together. Right. So you sew this one to this one. Right. And this one to this one. Right. So you've got two halves. Yeah. And then the middle is connected with a one full strip. Oh, okay, like two a sashing almost. Yeah, two and a half inch strip. Which you didn't do. I didn't do. I had sewn these two together. So you had a very and skinny these two butterfly. Together. I did, and I was like, oh, oh. I see, you sewed, before you sewed those two, you sewed the bottom two and the top yeah. two together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I had to unpick it and redo it, so I have enough room. Well, I suppose if you'd had middle. done that, you could put the body over the top of the you wing could. if you wanted to. Yeah, but it. Okay, so we've sewn the top and the wing together on this side, we've yep. sewn the top and the wing together on that side, and we've sewn the long sashing in. Mm -hmm. So we now have a butterfly with no body. Yes. So the, there is a template for the body in here, and that's right. what the bonder web is for. So you right. can yeah. either mark out your template, and you have to put them together because it's two bits. Okay, so. now you've, so the body and the binding, mm -hmm. you've chosen one and a half meters. So one yes. and a half meters you take out right from the beginning yes. and think, I'm going to have this as my body and my binding. Yeah, and okay. I've chosen the, well, the black on this one yeah. and the midnight on this one. Okay, perfect. That's what my binding is. So you haven't got is. midnight in Ooh. this, in this. you've oh, gone yeah. to navy in this, and then you've gone yeah. to midnight. Oh, okay. So that's yes, my okay. body with a bond web okay. on the back. Yeah. That I'll use. So, th so there's a sash, these are all sewn together, and there's a sash of white in between there that's already yes. sewn together. Yeah, so that gives you room for your body. So your top is made, basically. Yeah. The top of your quilt is made, mm -hmm. apart from the body going on. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I'll just show you the yeah. bias binding. Okay, perfect. For the antenna. So. You have a lot of strips like to take home, will not you? Yeah. <laughs> right. right. So, what you don't do is you open up. You don't open up your packages, throw the packaging away, and end of up your bias binding maker. Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> because then you go, oh, what size strip am I supposed to use? Right. Because it tells you in your instructions. Okay, so how much is this? Are coming in now. Okay. So in your instructions, it tells you um, for different size um, bias binding makers. Yes. This is a 12 millimeter one. Which right. Is on the on the back, and it tells you that you need and for different weights. So that's half well. inch, isn't it? 12 yeah. millimeter ones. 10.99, right? And for different weights, cloth, one inch, one and an eighth. So if you've got... Oh, your, I've never known that, but yeah, yeah, okay. Which makes sense. If you've got like a lawn that you're putting through, have it a little bit Okay, wider. so now, have you cut this on the straight or on the bias? I've actually cut it on the straight. Oh, have you? Yeah, I know. I suppose you'll get away with it. Yeah, you only need it a little bit. Yeah, it's just for the antenna. We're just making the antenna, aren't we? Yeah. You literally just thread it through. It helps to use a pin. Yeah. There we go. And it comes out all folded on the other end. Right. So you literally... Oh, no. Oh, grab another, more. I'll grab another pin, because that holds it. Put a pin in the end to hold it. Oh, rather pull than burning your fingers. Yep. Yeah. You pull this back, and then at the same time, you press it out. Make sure bias binding. Well, it's not bias binding, it's straight binding. Straight binding. Make sure binding. Yes. Mm. Because uh, Rebecca, that was in yesterday, mm -hmm. who's a dressmaker, Ooh. she was making binding for a quilt, but mm -hmm. she still cuts on the bias mm -hmm. because she's so used to doing bias yep. binding rather than straight binding. And I have to admit, I, I tend to do it bias binding on quilts. Oh, do you? Yeah, because my quilts get abused, they get used, and so it just makes it... Yeah. A little bit more durable. There we go. Oh, Jill, my love, you sent a lovely picture, but it's too small to show on the telly. Can you send it bigger? Is that what you're asking for? Bigger. 
can send it. I have no idea what that means, but yeah, send it bigger if you can. High resolution if you can. Still don't know what that means. But. I think more pixels. More pixels? Oh, don't confuse me even more. <laughs> but I wouldn't know how to do it on my computer. If I'd sent in a picture in, that's, oh, that's yeah, it. No. You know, I don't have to change the picture. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I had to have my accountant on the phone this week because all, all your paperwork now has to be digital. Oh. And I have to fill in everything on this thing. And I just lost my temp with it last week. And I was like, I'm not doing this. Anyway, he rang. Right now, do this. <laughs> See a box there. Click on that. Now they click on that. And I'm like, I feel so. Oh, well, that's nice. So Chris talked to his mum like that on the phone. Oh. See, my mum's usually the other way. My mum's... She's oh, she, oh. Yeah, she teaches me stuff. She taught me stuff on, when iPods first came out. She was playing with it and she taught me all new tricks. Oh, wow. It, yeah. Okay, brilliant. So, then what I did... Yeah. I don't know if it tells you how long to make the antenna. I think it just says bias binding. Hmm, finishing butterfly. Yeah. Oh, two seven and a half inch strips. Okay. Two seven and a half inch. Yeah. That's fine, we've got three minutes to the antennae, that's plenty of time. Yeah. Are the ends just, is the end just raw then? I do. I folded it in. So this bit. It's folded in, but the bit that goes underneath. The, underneath. Yeah. 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 So, so what don't I just stuck your body down before you've made your antenna. No. no. Okay. So I literally, I just folded it into a little arrow at the yeah. end. So it's, and then folded it over. Yeah. So that it's, it's folded over and I folded my antenna in half. Oh, so it's not off. the width of the, it's no, oh, you need I actually mired, Yeah, I actually mired mine and I just pinned it. Yeah. So I just made mine. So you made your bias binding where you fold through the thing and then you fold it in half, it half again, again. So it's narrower. Yeah. Okay. Just because I wanted it. To, I think yeah. Cause it, otherwise it'd be too thick. Wouldn't yeah. It? Cause if it, was, if it was, was like this. Oh yes. That's a bit of a, st oh, yeah, it could. Oh, I quite like it. Yeah. You kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like the narrow one. That yeah. narrow one. So you fold it in half, and how did you attach it? So now, have you attached it before you've quilted, or is it the last thing to go on? I attached it before I quilted it. Okay, so, so, while so it's you've still top. bonded your body onto mm -hmm. that middle section there, yep. with the antennae stuck underneath yep. it. Did, how did you stick these down, or didn't you? Did you I just, didn't. I so just they were just pinned, left yep. flailing at that point. I just pinned them on, and yep. then stitched over them. So then you zigzagged around the outside. Yep. Did you straight stitch I down? did a straight stitch. Down the middle of the antennae. Yeah. So then you've got your whole of your top of your quilt. Yeah. Then you made your quilt sandwich. Mm -hmm. And then you've done... Yeah. Wait, well, wait. you could do whatever you want, couldn't yeah, you, yeah, really? Yeah. I think Charlotte did straight lines through, you know, like stitch in the ditch sort of oh, lines all okay. the way down. Uh, and yeah. then you bound it yep. using the same fabric Colour that you'd use for that. Body, yep. But you've got lots of bits left over. Mm-hmm. Of, yes. the, of the half meters. Yes. So if you want to, you can make a scrappy binding as oh, well yeah, if you didn't yeah, want to make yeah, a definitely. frame. Yep. Mind you, would that be too much? Because you've got so much going, going on in the middle. It's quite nice to have a complete frame, yep. isn't it, around the outside? I hope I haven't confused you too much. <laughs> uh, you don't mind people messaging you on Facebook either, oh, do no. you? Saying, no, no. Um, go for it. John completely confused me. Will you explain it again <laughs> to me? Yeah, no, no, go for uh, it. When are you next? Ooh. Oh, I know, because we're on together. The next yeah. three times you're in, I'm in with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 23rd, I think, isn't it? I don't know. You can have a look, but um, <laughs> and have you got your projects yet? Do you know what you're doing? I don't know yet. Okay. No. Well, good luck with all Thank the new you. things. Mm, it is the 23rd. I'll see okay. you then. I'm sorry if I've confused anybody. Mm. I can answer questions as well, but I'll just yeah. confuse you even more. <laughs> uh, come and do the bundles. Uh, the blue one's gone. So, jewelled, which is this one here. Six and a half metres of fabric metre and a half of the ivory, and then half metre of all the other colours. I'd be tempted to keep one of those two colours as my border, because they're quite close, aren't they? I think they might be hot tomato and orange or something like that. But, but do you know what I mean? They're very, very close. In fact, on your telly, they look identical. So I'd be tempted... Paprika and hot tomato, right? I'd be tempted to save one of those as the body and the antenna and the, and the uh, border, because then you haven't got two colours very close. But then all of those in the wings are going to look stunning, aren't they? Say that again. Two thirds of the stock have gone. 
uh, 57 99. That's just during the live show, member. That's just during the live show. Uh, you get two threads, you get bond web, you get the instructions and six and a half metres of fabric. £57.99. And and or, of course, if you want the red and grey one and black one that you've seen on the wall over there, uh, is this one here. You get a metre and a half of the white, half a metre of all the other colours. Plus your threads. Plus your bond web. Fifty-nine ninety-nine plus your instructions, obviously. Fifty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah, over there. I've got a strip. I've got a stripology here. I've got the one, but I've got the open one here. Stripology, which I'm used at the beginning of the hour. Makes life a lot easier, a lot quicker. Fifty-three pounds and ninety-nine pence. 